To have healthy bones and teeth, we have to optimize our vitamin K2 levels. And one of the things that vitamin K2 does is it helps something called osteocalcin. Now, osteocalcin acts like a hormone and it reduces both insulin sensitivity and our blood glucose levels. So this is another reason why vitamin K2 and optimizing our osteocalcin, which by the way, is destroyed by leptin resistance. Of course, something that I talk a lot about in my other videos, we have to optimize our osteocalcin and vitamin K2 as we know, helps with our bone density, and it is believed to stimulate that osteocalcin to even stimulate the growth of our dentin, so for strong teeth as well, which is that calcified tissue underneath the tooth enamel. So it helps in our dental appointments so that we're not having all those cavities, like our children as well, if this is a common thing for your kids, that they're always getting these cavities. Well, yes, the diet has a lot to do with this, the microbiome in the mouth, but also the vitamin K2 levels, which is something that is easily supplemented you just got to look for the right type of vitamin K2 and making sure that it's an MK7. And the one that I take, I love it because it's actually a chewable form. It tastes like strawberries and it's super yummy. Now, another thing that's great about vitamin K2, as an aside, yes, we know for bone density, for dental health as well, but Japanese women are believed to have such beautiful porcelain-like skin without the fine lines and wrinkles like what we experience in other parts of the world because their diet is naturally more rich in vitamin K2. And that's because they eat something called natto it's a fermented soy food and it's something that we typically don't eat in different parts of the world but again loaded with that vitamin k2 which is great for your skin and for your skin microbiome now most forms of vitamin k2 are naturally made by the bacteria in our human gut and again it is that mk7 that i prefer but it is that mk7 form which is known as menaquinone is the form that has been discovered in the studies to have the higher absorption over the other types of vitamin k2s now now again, the one that I take is strawberry flavored. It's delicious. It's in a fat soluble format because vitamin K2 is a fat soluble vitamin. And from coconuts, the MCTs, medium chain triglycerides, actually helps with the absorption of that vitamin K2. The recommended dosage for vitamin K2 for adults is about 110 micrograms per day and 55 micrograms for children four and above. I prefer that vitamin K2 is actually taken closer to bedtime if you are taking a whole food calcium. Again, making sure that if you do take a calcium supplement it's always a whole food form i like a coral calcium because it's loaded with other minerals again helping with that proper absorption of that calcium but i prefer the k2 and the calcium together closer to bedtime because our calcium goes best into our bones into our teeth when we're sleeping when we have that spike of our growth hormone which happens during the middle of the night now for more information about that leptin resistance something that i mentioned a little bit earlier I want you to check out this video, 10 tips to fix leptin resistance. Really important because remember that leptin resistance is gonna shut down that osteocalcin. We've gotta optimize that for healthy bones and teeth, but for so many other reasons as well. Check out that video and let me know how you like it in the comments.